On this month's Community Corner, sponsored by People's Bank, we are focusing on the Food Bank of Western Massachusetts, who have been helping fight hunger and food insecurity for 40 years. Matt Bannister, People's Bank Senior Vice President of Marketing and Corporate Responsibility, and Jillian Morgan of the Food Bank of Western Massachusetts, are here to tell us about an event coming up this weekend to help families across Western Mass. Good morning and welcome to you both. Thank you for being here. Thank Good you. morning, thank you. All right, the event, Jillian, we, we talked to you a little bit about it uh, sure. not too long ago, Will Bike for Food. For those folks who missed that, our conversation before, let's talk about it. Yeah, happy to. So Will Bike for Food, this year is our 12th annual event. It is a cycling event um, made for folks of all uh, ages, abilities who cycle. Um, we do four routes, so there's a 25, a 50, a 75, and a 100 mile mm -hmm. route. And we just encourage folks to come out for the day, um, you know, do some fundraising for the food bank, have some fun, and then also just give back to a great cause. Now, Matt, what is the bank's involvement in this event? So People's Bank has supported the food bank for many, many years. Uh, uh, food insecurity is one of the key issues for our region and the bank focuses a lot on that and we support the food bank in a number of different ways, the bike for food being just one of them. Uh, and we turn out uh, volunteers and riders each year and it's a good chance for the company to come together a little bit for a good cause. Now, Matt, if I understand correctly, it's not just the bank that's going out and helping the West Mass Food Bank you are actually going to get involved in bike, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, let me I, guess, yep. you're doing the five mile fun I, bike, I, right? I might, well, <laughs> I'll commit, I'm doing the 100 miler, the century ride, it's a, for uh, cyclers, the century ride is a, a sort of an accomplishment number to get to and looking forward to it. It's great countryside, it's great people and there's a great after party afterwards. So, Wonderful. can't go wrong. Now, Jillian, how many people do you expect to participate in the four different lengths? So we'll have about 400 cyclists all together. Um, so the day starts really early at 7 a.m. We'll see, you know, a couple dozen cyclists come in for the century ride, and then it gets kind of busier throughout the day as we get more families doing the different rides, the 25 and the 10 mile. Now we see on the screen there that the first ride does start, as you point out, at 7 a.m. So if Matt's doing 100 miles, will he be back in time for the after party at 2? Absolutely, we sure hope so. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So we have the CE Floyd after party. We're going to have live music from the Soul Keys. Um, one of our food ops, uh, food operations staff, is actually a DJ, so he's going to be mm -hmm. DJing. So there's going to be music, food from Smithsonian um, Chowder House, um, a barbecue. It's going to be a really good time, and folks can actually um, purchase tickets for the after party if you are not a cyclist. That's as well. a great idea. That's a great idea. And if I remember correctly, when I spoke to you last, you have a new cycling option this year too, right? That's right. So we do offer virtual cycling. So say you can't come out on September 25th, um, you're welcome to just log in your miles anytime for Hunger Action Month. That is September um, this month. So you can log your miles virtually, still do some fundraising. We'll send you a t-shirt and you can still get involved. Fantastic. Matt, you mentioned a moment ago, uh, the bank really participates in events for folks with food insecurity. With so many available nonprofits and uh, ways for the bank to give back. Why choose this one? Why is food insecurity so important? Uh, well, uh, f if you don't, if you're not well fed, that's where everything follows from. Your ability to achieve in school, your ability to achieve at the workplace, it, it, it all starts with food. And, and it's such a solvable problem. We've had a hard time solving it, but our will is there to solve it. And with partners like the food bank, it's, it's one that we feel we can tackle. And, all food insecurity issues in the region, the food bank is right at the center of it. Whether it's the food distribution or advocacy efforts, uh, it, they're a fantastic organization. Now, from the People's Bank perspective, th this particular event, one of the bigger fundraisers uh, for the food bank, how, how important is it that People's Bank is involved in this particular event? Well, it's, uh, we have a corporate culture of volunteerism and it's important that our associates turn out uh, to ride but also to, to the many who are uh, unseen along the route as well who are supporting the event as well. It's really important that we're there to help. How many associates of yours from the bank will be out with you? Anybody no. else doing the 100 miler? That's a good, no, to the best of my knowledge, no. <laughs> we'll have to see who, who raises their hand and says, yes, I will, and then who actually follows through. But I expect we'll have a good crew out there. Fantastic. Yeah. Jillian, how important is it for People's Bank as a partner? Um, I mean, it's wildly important. We have, you know, several corporate supporters that come out, and this is just a really great way for businesses to get involved with the mission of the food bank and, you know, also just promote um, the community getting more involved with the food bank. As I was saying earlier, we have 400 cyclists who come out for this event. 
We have roles for nearly 100 volunteers either leading up to the event or during the event itself. So this is just a really great community effort to give back to a really important organization doing really great work. If people want to get involved, whether it's volunteering for the event this weekend or actually biking, how do they do it? So they can go to willbikeforfood.org. You can still register to ride um, in the event this weekend. You can also still volunteer. We're still looking for volunteers to help out with a few crucial tasks. So willbikeforfood.org, you'll find information on registration and volunteer opportunities. I know we're still uh, a couple of days out from this, but the weather, fingers crossed, yeah. looks pretty good. It does. And nice and cool for you too, yeah, It does, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> yep. Now yeah. I want to thank you both for being here. Best of luck with you, Matt, for hitting the century mark. Have you done a century before? I have. I have. Uh, so yep. it's, uh, this Excellent. is a yeah, piece of cake yeah. for you. Yeah. Piece yeah. Of cake. <laughs> good seeing you and best of luck this Great. weekend. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. For more information on how People's Bank supports the community, please visit bankatpeoples.com. This segment was sponsored by People's Bank.